forming a cis 1, 2 diol. And so the, the structure shown here is an example of a cis 1, 2 diol. So cis because both of the bonds are facing in the same direction, 1, 2 because they're on adjacent carbons, and diol because these groups are both alcohols. And so if we want to form a cis diol, the way to do this to control that stereochemistry is to form both of the bonds to oxygen at the same time. Um, and if you do that, that's a way to control that they both get added to the same face of the alkene. So the starting material for this is going to be an alkene. Um, and your hint to an alkene starting material can often be that you've got two functional groups on adjacent carbons. Um, so you can think that, well, maybe those carbons were attached together by a pi bond. Um, so here is one of a few different ways that we can actually go about this reaction. Um, so we need to, this is an oxidation, so we need an oxidant. So one that's good for this reaction, although it's quite toxic, is osmium tetroxide. And because that's toxic, we tend to use that in a catalytic amount. And then we add in a co-oxidant, so something that can react and oxidize that back again. And so something like hydrogen peroxide, other peroxides can work for this as well. And so overall, this reaction, the product is going to be that cis diol. And you don't, I'm not gonna need to know this mechanism because I'm not going to test you on it, but I'm gonna show it to you so you can get an idea of how we manage to control and get those two bonds to oxygen forming at the same time. Okay, so we have an alkene. And so osmium tetroxide looks like this. So we've got the osmium with all of these oxygens. Okay. Um, and you can see this with other metals. Another thing that you will see is potassium permanganate, and that manganese, again, has four bonds to oxygen. So you would see KMnO4, and it does the same sort of reaction. So what happens here is that your, and it's a cyclic reaction, so it really doesn't matter uh, where you start with your arrows. I'll start with a pi bond just because I think that'll be a bit more familiar. We're used to seeing alkenes acting as nucleophiles. So we can see that attacking one of these oxygens. These electrons here are going to return to the osmium. So in this reaction, we see the osmium gaining electrons. So that means the osmium is being reduced. Um, if the alkene is being oxidized, right, something needs to be being reduced, and that something is the osmium. And then we form another bond between this oxygen and the alkene. And so because this is taking place in a concerted step, there is absolutely no way that those bonds could be anywhere but on the same face of the molecule, because it's basically going to come and interact, and the bonds are formed at the same time. So these concerted additions to alkenes tend to lead to syn addition. Okay, so what we get here as an intermediate is we get a molecule where both of these bonds to oxygen, I'm going to use wedges to show that they're on the same side, were formed at the same time, so it's still bound to the osmium, which still has the other two oxygens attached to it. And your co-oxidant, the hydrogen peroxide, will cleave these bonds here and re-oxidize that osmium. And I'm not going to show that mechanistic step. We'll just say that it happens. So hydrogen peroxide, you might see other peroxides used for this as well. Um, so it will cleave these bonds. It doesn't do anything here. So we've set the stereochemistry with that syn addition. Um, and it also regenerates that osmium catalyst. So this can go back through the cycle again.